Go for it, guys. No. Let's hear. Okay, uh, this is our project. Uh, uh, my name is Eduardo. This is Jane, Eugene, and Sebastian. Yeah. Nice. So we'll go through it right now. Alright. So the gear collecting. Uh, Eugene's gonna present Okay, it. so gear collecting is basically the same thing that was on Saturday. It's just a bit, um, polished, but you can see, I, I know the other teams did basically the same thing, so I won't go over much. It's just, it's gonna, um, slide down here, and then there's, I forgot to put a wall here, there is gonna be a wall here to stop the gear, and then you just, yeah, and then it goes on the, yeah, like, yeah, like, something that puts it forward, like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. So the ball collection, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty basic. We, we've we uh, seen this design a couple times before. I know you have the design very similar. That's that as well, right? Yes, uh, but the, the way we have it is we have like a coil that's going to catch the balls and it's going to bring it up. And uh, if, if you see this, these bars, uh, those are actually uh, motors that are going to bring the balls up. And uh, in fact, there was a 3D model, I don't know where it went, but there was a 3D model of the thing. And you could see that there is this is a, a flat surface. Thanks. I don't know if we still have it. Next yeah. Slide. yeah, there you go. So that's a better view of it. So you could see here, uh, the balls would be coming in this way, and they would be raised here, and they would stand on this platform right there. Uh, this needs polishing, but this is the rough idea. So they're gonna be they're gonna be standing there, and uh, that's what that's how we're gonna collect balls from the ground. Now I I know it's not uh, that efficient as Sam said because there's not gonna be like that many balls, so that it's not really it doesn't really matter that much. But it's still an extra uh, it's still an extra thing we can do, right? I mean it's it's not taking. Space that it's, it's taking space, but uh, we're, we have um, we have other stuff that goes uh, in other places, and it's not it's not taking space that uh, would be uh, necessary for something else. For example, we could have the stuff. Uh, it's it's like we wanted to do the gear, we would have it somewhere else. It's not it's not like that that big. Of I just want to state for the record, these illustrations are amazing. That was him. It was amazing. They're amazing. Okay, and so, uh, if you were thinking, we got this idea from watching the robot in three days, we have, like, a short clip of, like, how, like, being it applied, and, uh, yeah, so, like, the table would, like, go up there, yeah, so, you, something that's like that. the basic that. idea. gone into that as much so uh, this is kind of our design so what we think that since we can have a knot at the end of the rope we want to utilize that and uh, be able to climb the robot in the source of a, a reel so like a fishing rod you can think of it like that that way so what essentially what would happen there would be um, a two and uh, in the middle of it there would be a hollow space or uh, completely uh, like empty so what you would do is that you would put, place the knot in that uh, space right there and when it would start rotating there would be a hole in which the diameter would be uh, a, s a shorter distance than the width of the uh, empty space, in which it would start turning, and the knot would actually get caught in that little hole. So basically, it would be attaching itself to the robot. And when you kept turning, it would kept turning. As Eugene would put here, it would be like lifting up, and it would uh, be more secure that way. And so it would be yeah. several layers of the rope already tied onto the robot. Yeah, there would be no way it would be able to fall. So, this is just an example of it zoomed in to see how it works. It's kind of like weird to see. I was kind of confused when I first looked at it, but um, yeah. So the knot would be going into the empty space and then continuously rolling. So yeah, that's uh, so so far just fun. collecting and climbing. That's what you want. And and the gears. Yeah. What about the yeah? Oh, we do. Oh yeah. Let's see this one. It's kind of different because they use different. Oh yeah, okay. So as you can see, it's like also being reeled in. Oh, yeah, 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 a different uh, manner. Yeah, it really doesn't matter where you actually do that to the robot. They're using yeah, like a comb-like thing. That's exactly what we've been, yeah. <laughs> look where they put it on the side, big deal. Yeah. 
Yeah, so like we could tr probably change the way in which it attaches it, but we think that a reeling system would be really efficient. Yeah, and we talked about a reeling system like that. I'll tell you what, um, that reeling, that system, like that's pretty much what we've all talked about. Uh, just about everybody's about the same way. So I think we'll probably end up going with something like that. Okay, go for it. Okay, and that's uh, that's it. Very good, guys. Very good. Yeah, excellent.